still has a ban in place on gay and transgender people from donating blood. The center recently justified the ban stating that the exclusions are based on due consideration of scientific evidence. But how scientific is this exclusion really? The ban on blood donations for gay persons was introduced in the 1980s. Back then, information available on the detection and transmission of HIV AIDS was much less than it is today. As per guidelines for blood donor selection and blood donor refner 2017, those at risk for HIV infection, including gay and transgender people, are barred from donating blood in the country. Why is that? It takes 6 to 12 weeks for normal HIV blood tests to detect the presence of antibodies in the human body. This period is called the incubation period. During this period, the HIV status of a person does not show in the test, but they can infect others. But activists have raised how this could be applicable to anyone and not just LGBTQ members. Let's look at the rights of LGBTQ members internationally regarding blood donation. The United States in 2015 had loosened a lifetime ban on LGBTQ donating blood if they had abstained from sex for at least a year. In April 2022, Canada lifted restrictions on gay men donating blood. As for the new rules, potential donors will be asked if they had any or multiple sexual partners in the last previous months, no matter their gender or sexual orientation. In the United Kingdom, healthy people of any gender or sexual orientation who have had same sexual partner for at least three months are eligible for blood donation. Israel is another country where a ban for wedding homosexual men from donating blood has been lifted. In 2022, France as well as Greece lifted the ban on LGBTQ from donating blood. Should India follow their suit and make blood donation rights more inclusive? For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.